Hey everyone, so today I have a little haul and plus a um, DIY kind of storage or idea kind of thing. And it's been requested because when I did my makeup collection, a lot of you realized that there were a lot of containers and storage ideas that I just used, um, you know, normal everyday containers to make. But first I have a little haul. I got some stuff from Dr. Broner's and I don't think you could get it like in stores, I don't know, but I ordered it online. So the first thing I got is a Dr. Broner's Magic All One Organic Lip Balm and this is in Lemon Lime. And I actually used that under my lip gloss today right before this video and it is so moisturizing. Oh my god, as moisturizing as my CO Bigelow Rose Salve. But it's way more moisturizing than a EOS. So I'm really liking this and it's like all their products are fair trade and organic. And then I got a magic soap. This is in tea tree. Yeah, there we go. But basically you could use it to wash your hair to um, wash your body, to wash your face, to use as a toothbrush, to kill um, pesticides on vegetables and stuff. According to Dose Candy 87, you could use it to clean your brushes. That's why I got them, because she said these clean your brushes really well. The tea tree one really doesn't smell that great. This is 8, um, 8 ounces. The 8 ounce one was 6 39. It smells kind of gross. It smells like cleaning supplies. So I guess I didn't really know what tea tree smell like because I've never had anything tea tree but um don't really like the smell of this. And I got the lavender one. They've all got that like I don't smell lavender. I still smell the same cleaning supply smell. Ugh, kind of disappointed in this. That was $4.25 so yeah. And then I got it in almond which um this, oh this one is the best it doesn't have as strong of that cleaning scent i think that cleaning supply scent is like part of every soap oh my god definitely recommend getting this one almonds it smells like straight up almonds it smells so good the last one i got was um this two ounce one this was 2.99 such a hard time focusing i don't know this one it's in citrus orange i don't know if i said that it smells decent. It doesn't smell as bad as the lavender one. The lavender is the worst. The almond is the best. And second is this. And now I'm going to show you guys my DIY projects. The first thing you can do is Kleenex boxes. This is the only small one I have. I haven't figured out what to use it for. But um, we normally buy the 300 sheets ones. And I've had like, I have three over there stacked just waiting to be used. I would suggest any container, pretty much any box, you could always save it and come up with something that like put in it later because these boxes are so versatile and also you could keep any jars like this like jelly jars or this is um spaghetti sauce jars spaghetti sauce jars anyways i'm so weird um but you just i mean i haven't figured out what you could use this for you can maybe use it as a cover for something or maybe you could put your brushes in here um i haven't decided yet so yeah you can save any jars like this. Next, I have this Kleenex box that I was talking to you guys about. I actually have this Godiva truffle box. After I finish eating it, I use the lid and it fits perfectly over this. So yeah, that's just another thing. And I just have like toothpicks, gum, pencils, lid, lip gloss that I don't use anymore. It's really nicely. And I put a like little bow. This was from like a chocolate too. And I just put it around here because I thought it looked cute. Then, um, yogurt containers are great if you want to, like, store something in them or use them as a cover to cover your brushes and protect them from bacteria and stuff like that. Now I'm going to take you guys, um, around my room to show you guys some of the other stuff that I made. Alright, so this is, like, a food container and I just put my brushes in here and combs. So, yeah, any container, pretty much. And then these are Ritz Cracker boxes. As you can see and I just cut them up to make them hold books on my nightstand. They um, are really pretty and they do a decent job of holding my books and random notes. This is probably my favorite one. It is a jewel mint jewelry box. So you fold it over and it goes like this. And um, I actually, when you buy the jewelry, on top of the container it comes with, a, I could get it out, this like foam thing. And I took the insert underneath out and then I cut out holes like this with a knife. And um, I customize each hole to fit the ring. So unique and like it looks so pretty just sitting on my vanity. Oh, then I have this Kleenex box and also this great case. 
Um, I bought grapes at Costco and this case came with it. So I just cut the top off and put all my CDs. Here I have the other half of the Godiva truffle box. And it holds my um, body splashes and body sprays in it. So, yeah, and then this this container is um, a fruit by the foot packaging and it fits three of the Bath and Body Works ones perfectly. These Kleenex boxes that I showed you guys earlier, three in this drawer and they're just very nice. Here I have this other cookie case that I got from Costco and it still has the nutrition facts on the bottom. But I covered it with the same wrapping paper and it holds all my hair accessory. And then this is an oatmeal box that I cover with some other wrapping paper because I ran out of the blue ones. And um, the lid's on and I just keep all my brushes in here. Same as a pencil holder. I don't know if you can see, but there's slots there. So um, it holds all my eyeliners and stuff like that. A lot of people thought this was cool when I did my makeup collection. In my actual makeup collection, I have these. Um, I bought this up and I kept the container. And it fits all my, you know, face products and stuff. It's just like the ones you buy at stores, except it's, like, cheaper plastic. But, I mean, honestly, it doesn't really matter. Because it just separates your stuff. And then here are also some cookie, you know, holders right here. I just cut them out. I have these same cookie boxes over here. And these actually have slots in them, which holds my palettes perfectly. Alright, so I hope you guys found that little clip helpful. Hopefully you could put some of those, um, useless items and to use because they are actually very useful. So, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and got some ideas. And it's so hot, oh my god. It's been like really, really hot um, these days. But anyways, I'm gonna go and I will see you guys later. Bye!